What's happening guys? Heavy Heart here with another lesson and this time we are going to be looking at some kind of cliche metal slash metalcore slash hardcore leads and melodies that go over uh, riffs, heavy riffs or just like more like melodic riffs as well. Think like It Prevails, Counterparts, and Misery Signals. Those are going to be my top three kind of influences for this video and this lesson. And we're going to take a look at some really nice melodies, maybe some dissonant ones as well. All right, we'll get two ends of the same spectrum, you know what I'm saying? We're going from the heavies, heavies to the uh, the slash, slash, you know, <laughs> All right, so we're going to get into it. Oh yeah, we gonna get all the feels, baby. Let's go. Oh, Jesus. Well, hello there. All right, guys, let's get into it. So, the first example is going to be very, very nice little dissonance. And it doesn't always mean that it's gonna sound necessarily like off or heavy or like um, exotic. You'll, you'll see what I'm kind of trying to get at here in a second. It can be both like beautifully melodic and it can also be more harsh on the ears, okay? And we're gonna do it over the same chord, okay? I'm in drop D for this lesson, by the way. So in drop D. Now I'm in tune. Yeah, would you look at that? I just tuned up and no, don't start that again. All right, really? All right, all right, I'm gonna play you. I'm gonna play you, just be patient, all right? Let's do it. So an open D power chord. Simple, right? Just zeros, gent. Anyways, we'll do the easy version first. All right, I'm gonna give you guys the easy version. So what this chord shape is, it's like a dyad, which means it's only two notes, but it kind of makes a chord, especially with our harmony, which is the D power chord underneath it, okay? So the first one is going to be, well, we'll, we'll do the melodic one. We'll do like the, the very pretty, very pretty uh, melodic dissonance here, okay? So this is going to be the first one. If we're in D, we're going to be really focusing on, we'll do D minor first. All right, we'll do a pretty D minor, and then maybe we'll do a D major for the other side of the prettiness. And then we're going to do a very heavy, harsh dissonant thing of the same thing. Anyways, we get the idea. All right, let's do it. So the first one is going to be on the B and G strings. Okay, so this, it's a little bit of a stretch, but just suck it up and stretch those fingers out. Boom, baby, let's get it. I like to, if you have trouble getting this stretch, I like to use my pointer finger first as the anchor, and then from there, stretch out the pinky. All right, so it's going to be a three fret span. So if we're going to start on, let's start here. So we're going to start with our pointer finger on six on the B string, which is note F. And then we're going to put our pinky on the ninth fret on the G. Okay, so six to nine, three frets. This creates a minor second interval, which has that dissonance, okay? already hear how it's gonna work right so it actually, it actually kind of sounds like a good intro what'd you look at that there you go I just I just wrote a metalcore intro in off the top of my head I'm <laughs> just so good if you want lessons on that hit me up let's write some tunes all right so I'll just do a basic metalcore rhythm, like a chuggy kind of thing on the uh, top three strings, and then we're going to mess with some different ways you can play that, okay? So it's just, we're going to play it both like that, where the notes are separated, and we're also played as a chord. That's more like the hardcore kind of style, like the old school hardcore, I think like Shy Hulud and Comeback Kid and all this stuff. So, uh, let's see, maybe we'll do something like this. Now 
Now I'm bending it a little bit. You don't have to. I kind of like it. Uh, very. You're not bending up a whole step or anything. It's just a very slight kind of slick little uh, bend up there on that pinky fret there. Pinky note on the ninth fret. <laughs> That was at the end there, but you get the idea. Anyways, so that's with the at playing it as a chord all at once. Uh, Veil vale Maya also comes to mind in this style, especially their oldest stuff like from the Common Man's Collapse and ID or ID. ID or ID. Always got confused on that one. I never knew how, how they re how do they say it. If anybody knows, leave a comment because I literally don't know. Anyways. <laughs> All right, so that's just an example of what that sounds like. Now that's a D minor sound. So what we're doing is our pointer finger on the B string on the sixth fret is the minor third interval in relation to D. So that gives you your minor. And then your pinky on the ninth fret on the G gives you that major nine. So this is really a D minor nine sound. sounds that kind of vibe okay very pretty but still minor still sad <laughs> that's another cool one so let's do this we're going to move we're gonna do the root but we can also get that note with an open E so maybe a something like that uh, this you'll hear this kind of melodic Thing being done a lot too. That's really cool. So all I'm doing is that picking pattern was so with my pointer finger on six on the B and my middle finger on seven on the G. The picking pattern goes G B G. E, B, G. Now you don't have to palm mute. I like to palm mute the first couple of notes or whatever, but you don't really have to. the idea. So playing it both as a chord and broken up. You get there and you can do any picking pattern, but that one is one I hear a lot. So it's basically doing root, minor third, root, minor uh, major second, minor third, root. So root three two no sorry root three root two three root. You get that dissonance with the point finger on the 6th fret on the B and the open E. Keep in mind the 5 fret rule for most of the strings except for that dreaded G to B string because the B string is stupidly tuned differently than every other string. I don't understand why they do Who came up with that in the first place? I literally have no idea what the point of that was. It's just confusing and no wonder why some people like Tom Quayle and uh, Stanley Jordan playing an all perfect fourth. It just makes more sense and all the shapes actually stay the same the whole way through and With this new tuning on the B string it screws that all up. So I don't really know what the anyways uh, I'm Pissed coming back <laughs> Now we're gonna play this an octave up. So we're gonna go All right, so this is cool. This this is going in more in Veil Maya territory. So it's the same kind of shape up an octave, which gives us 13 on the E and 17 on the B. So same kind of pattern. 
Wow, I'm so professional. Drop my pick again. All right, ready? There you go. More aggressive. Uh, uh, uh. I like to upstroke that. It gives it more. It's just a. It's just kind of what you do. You know what I'm saying? If you're a metal musician, you know what I'm talking about. It's just a thing you do. Whatever. Anyway, you get the idea. Now this is also kind of cool, keeping with that same uh, chord shape, right? Um, I forgot to mention, it's a little bit more of a stretch on the bottom two strings. You're just going to add another fret. So this is going to be four fret span. Right? So all I do to find that is whatever key I'm in, wherever the chord is, so we're in D, find the octave, right? And then you go up three frets, and then if you're on the bottom E string, it's four frets down on the next string up, right? So 13 on the bottom, next string up, 17. 17 minus 13 is four. There you go. If you're going from the B to the G string, it's only three frets. So in that case, right? Same idea. Find your octave. Go up three frets on the B, and then next string up G, you'll go plus three frets. Six to nine. Sixty-nine. Ha <laughs> ha! Insert joke here. Now we're gonna do. This is a good like a pre-breakdown or a breakdown build-up. Okay, um, we'll do the pre-breakdown first. This is kind of cool. So when the with the chord ringing out, you're gonna do this lead over it. And usually it's not the same guitar as doing it because the signal gets messed up. So you have another guitar, but you get the idea. Okay, so we have this ring out. I have to say we did some riffs. <laughs> While the chords ring it out and you have that over top of it, you get the idea. I'm just doing a random pattern. It's just eighth notes. Okay, so that's one way to do it. And then when the breakdown comes, uh, you have it more spaced out. So maybe this is like acacia strain type of stuff. So maybe something like uh, do we have a pre breakdown? get the idea and you can mess with that with another guitarist friend or whatever if you're all alone like me then uh, you just kind of have to I don't know get an axe fix and loop some stuff and record I don't know that's kind of what I do when I just play by myself so that's minor now we're gonna do major okay so so for major I like to use the um, the root and the major sevens for like a major seven kind of sound so we're gonna keep same chord D. Now, you, now for this one, you find the octave, and then you stay there. And then if you're on the bottom E string, you're gonna go up four frets again. Right there, you go. Doesn't sound right just yet, but you, if I set it up better, like maybe something like this. Wow, I went out of tune quick. That is pretty bad. That is pretty bad. Pretty, pretty bad. Oh, it's always the B, man. The G actually is good. Wow, that's a miracle. D. All right, it's good. A. Whoa. A. That went out pretty much bad. Billy Bobo. Come on, get it. Get it, baby. Really? All right. Whoa, D went really out. I hit pretty hard apparently. <laughs> okay, so if I set it up with some chords, this is more like a melodic 
hardcore kind of style, I think it prevails, misery signals, so if like maybe something like this. I just add some notes there and you get the scale idea. You get the idea and now you can really hear it. So I'm not going to tell you those chords because I just don't feel like it. If you want to learn what those are to get that sound, message me or leave a comment below and tell at demand that you that I reveal what that is, what those chords are, and that harmony. Okay? Just do it. And I might do it. Out of tune again. I don't care at this point. Anyways. That's a good idea. And the, the picking technique is kind of the same thing. Alright, I'm going to do it on a, an octave lower, which is here. This is nice, so maybe... Whoa, hello. stuff. I'm just hitting the open E at the end, same chord shape. I do. Anyways, I got a little carried away there, but it's just such a nice chord progression. Oh my god, I could go on all day with that stuff. I've dragged this on way too long. Holy crap, 21 minutes already? Jesus, time flies when you're half in fun. Alright, I'm going to do a couple more parts to this. There are some other melodies that I want to include in this little, I'm not going to call it a series, but maybe I will call it a series. I don't really know what I'm doing right now. A couple of more cliche and really beautiful uh, metalcore, melodic hardcore melodies that you can use to create really good riffs. And it adds a whole new layer of atmosphere and vibe and um, 
and if you move it around you can get different dissonances and stuff. We didn't even go over the heavier dissonance. Um, we'll do that next time. How about that? So, which it sounds more something like this maybe, so it'd be like... <laughs> Not the open E though, maybe. Well, maybe. Sounds like a little Gojira-ish. Anyways, we'll do that next time. I'm done for today. Leave a comment below, like and subscribe, all that good stuff. And I will see you in the next video. All right, y'all. If you learn any of this or write your own riffs, which would be fan freaking tastic, tag me on Instagram at jhartguitar, and I will post it if it's decent. But I'm sure whoever's watching this video is pretty darn good already at the guitar. <laughs> so, do that. Do all that. And I'll see you next time. Peace! Gent, 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 gent